different split. It's usually never four of us on the same side. There's always one person that's going to choose to to vary off. But I'm really interested to kind of see how this goes. Um, as you guys all know, Sean gets a little bit of insight before. Uh, but Cassie and Toddy have no idea what's going to be asked. So, Toddy, I'm going to bring it to you first. Fact or cap? The 49ers are the best team in the NFL. This is an absolute fact. There's no question. There's nothing. I don't know what. <laughs> this is a trick question. Am I being punked? Are there cameras in my house? Is Ashton Kutcher going to pump out of the bushes and say, you just got punked? Like, what did we just watch yesterday? Did we all watch the same game? Like, are we do, are we just going to just throw out, like, yesterday didn't happen? Um, now they're the best team in the NFL. There's no question about it. I don't know who's on our level. We're just on it. We're on, like, there's the 49ers and there's, like, pretty much everybody else. Like, yeah, I guess the Eagles were in that same conversation on best team in the NFL you know before yesterday but then after yesterday we pretty much just proved to the league to the world that the San Francisco 49ers are the, are the best team in the league so I'm going to say fact the 49ers are the best team in the NFL by a wide margin it's not even close Cap, don't even worry about it I'm going to send it to you next fact or cap <laughs> let me know when you be ready right. fact or cap the 49ers are the best team in the NFL Boy, hell no, hell no, <laughs> hell. This is this ain't this all pride aside. I'm not saying we're the best team in the NFL, but they damn sure because of last night. That that's what makes you the. Listen, it's not like you came in and we played our best ball and you played your best ball and you beat us forty two nineteen. No, we dropped the ball. We dropped the ball. We y'all came ready. We didn't come prepared, and it is what it is. That is cap, 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 mega cap. Because guess what? We already know what's going to happen. We're going to see in the playoffs, all right? I'm glad that Slant Boy, a.k.a. Brock Purdy, did what he did to get the ball to the guys and got all that yak for y'all boys. I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I really am. Very happy. I'm glad. You know, Debo, tough dude, hard to tackle. Kittle ain't no joke. Ayuk, you know what I'm saying? He's a monster. And CMC is the best running back in the NFL. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it what it is right now. Okay, it's cool. Rainy game, sloppy, in cold Philadelphia. It is what it is. That is cap. The best team in football. Forget our game. There are two to three other teams right now that can beat this Niners team. Just Who are, who's the best team in the NFL then? The best team in the NFL right now, if you were to ask me? 110 percent i'll be honest with you i'll baltimore baltimore i'll say t- i'll say, I'll say ball- i'm saying bone on bone man to man we gonna go out and take this baltimore you have no answer for the defense and their run game and somehow some way the reincarnation of obj is real it's legitimate it's not a joke mark andrews being missing in, in baltimore but I, if it's not Baltimore, it's us. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to. But to see y'all beat us the way y'all did, that, again, like I said in the, in, the, in the past, is not a testament to what the Philadelphia Eagles are as a team. That was a very good game play, played by you guys and a very bad game played by us. I can't just automatically give you guys you're the best. I can't. You guys went on three-game losing streak. Three to who? I'm sure you remember. Who was it? Uh, tell me. The Browns, the Vikings, and the Bengals. Go ahead. Okay. No, 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 wait, wait. Browns, Vikings, Bengals. Okay. Now, right now, all by the side, the Philadelphia Eagles, which we already played the Vikings, Um, if you had to take the Philadelphia Eagles to play the Browns, the Vikings, and the Bengals right now, who would you pick to win that damn game? Eagles. No, 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 no by the side. For, forget the game happened last night. We're, say, 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 say last night ha- haven't happened. You're Eagles taking Phil- all you're, you're, hey, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. That's why I can't say you guys are the best team in the NFL because of that right there. How the hell? Because you lost Trent Williams and Debo for a couple weeks. That's it. You got Ayuk. Ayuk's a true number one. He he's a, he's a dog. You got CMC, the best runner, dude. Somebody on my Twitter. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'll be quick with this. Somebody somebody on my Twitter said. How dare you say the Niners have a good old line? How dare you say they don't? Why? why, why well, they just have Trent Williams. It doesn't matter. CMC is a leading rusher in the league. Brock Purdy literally gets sacked less than than a lot of the top top five passers in the league. Well, but they run more. It doesn't matter. He's not getting sacked as much as these guys. 
and it's by a couple, a, a, a good margin. The Niners O line may not have the best guys when it comes to roster on that offensive line, but they have a solid O line. You cannot say CMC is just doing it by himself. He's just Derrick Henry in his his way to all these. Th- no, he has openings, he has space, and he does the most with the space, which is what makes CMC so 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 awesome. He's amazing. But to say the Niners are the best team in the NFL, I I can't say that. You you beat us, but there are other there are there are other teams that exist right now, and I'll say right one of them. Really, yeah, I'll, say I'll say one of them is Baltimore, and the other one might be, and I hate to say it. Miami, Dallas. Mm-hmm. I hate Ooh. to say it, and I hate them. I hate, I hate them with a fiery <laughs> passion. Don't lose on Sunday. That's let, okay. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Don't, don't let them get their get back in the playoffs because y'all gonna see them before y'all see us. I've been saying that the last two years. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I've, been I've been waiting, waiting on the get back. <laughs> Kevin, just just one moment, please, before you ask me formally uh, uh, this factor cap question, because Kev, I got to respond to a couple of things that you just said, because first of all, let's play the same game. OK, would the Eagles be favored against the Browns and the Vikings and the Bengals? Yes, they would. Would the Eagles be favored against the Jets led by Zach Wilson? Yes, they would. But yet they one lost game. to them. And that's one game. Why you, but that's why you play the games. That is why you play the games. The 49ers lost to a Vikings team led by Kirk Cousins that started to play very well. Everyone saw it for the first time, really, on national TV in that game on Monday Night Football. Our guy, Wes, who is a noted Vikings fan, he saw after that game, I started picking the Vikings in all of our weekly pickums, And he started saying in the comments, hey, good job, Sean. I'm glad that someone knows. Because I learned in that game how great the Vikings are. The point is, is that any given Sunday, I know that's a cliche, but you, you can't play that game that you just did. Okay, that, that's great. Um, Hurts threw like just, three picks in that game, by the way, too. Just wanted to let that be. I just had to respond. I just had to respond to, to that one thing. Kevin, please, go go ahead. Ask me the question. All right. All right. So it is one-to-one, as I'm sure everyone knew was coming. Um, so we all know what's coming next. So, Sean, back to cap. The 49ers are the best team in the NFL. This is a fact. Last week. I said on this podcast, even if the 49ers beat the Eagles on Sunday, the Eagles could and probably will be still the best team in the NFL. But I didn't think that the Eagles would lose by 23 points on their home field to the 49ers that wore all black for the game. They were ready for the Eagles' funeral. They got their get back, which is something that the Cowboys can't accomplish against the 49ers. And you may be wondering, hmm, what was the 49ers' best game of the season if Sean said earlier that the win against the Eagles wasn't? It was against the Cowboys on Sunday Night Football, 42-10. to I know the 49ers were at home in that game versus being on the road in a hostile Philadelphia uh, stadium. The thing is, is that the Cowboys went into that game with the same amount of motivation as the 49ers did going into Philadelphia yesterday. But yet... The 49ers, they didn't get handled by the Cowboys. They didn't even get threatened by the Cowboys. They beat them boys by 32 points. So that's the 49ers' best win of the season. And you may be wondering, because the Eagles, they are the only 10-2 and two team in the NFL, and the 49ers are one of five 9-3 and three teams in the NFL. And you, you may think to yourself, okay, the Eagles could be the best team. Cass said that the Cowboys could be better than the 49ers, along with the Ravens. The 49ers haven't played the Ravens yet. They will on Christmas. I guess we'll see what happens then. But the 49ers have played the Cowboys. They have played the Eagles this season. And what did they do? They outscored those two teams that are 9-3. and They outscored them a combined 84-29. to Four of their wins being the 49ers. Four of their wins are by more than 20 points. Another four wins are by double digits. The 49ers are hands down the best team in the NFL. They proved that yesterday. It's a fact. All right. Well, we all knew that was coming, and everyone knows where I'm going. Back to cap. The 49ers are the best team in the NFL. You guys laid it out perfectly. This is a cap. You know, I, I should put my hat back on. So let me go ahead and do that. Because this is cap. You know, at the end of the day, you guys still went to sleep and didn't wake up in the in the first seat. There's still only one 10-win team. So 
This is stats over politics, Toddy. I remember you saying that over and over and over and over. <laughs> so we're going to stay true to the show, fellas. Stats over politics. Ten is more than nine. And three <laughs> losses is more than two. So if the math is computed in my head, call me Jimmy Newchaw since he's that so raven. <laughs> you are the best team in the NFL. Hands down. Sean, go ahead. Ask your question. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Kaz, you might not have seen this, but Kevin, I know you remember this vividly. When I put that stupid meme up on the screen, and it was the 49ers and the Eagles, and it was the two dragons, 49ers looking all vicious, Eagles looking kind of dumb. Well, <laughs> and I, I use I use that meme, Kaz, when the 49ers and Eagles were both 4-0, then both 5-0. and And Kevin, do you remember what I mentioned, stats over politics, what I mentioned as to the reason why the 49ers Four and zero record or five and zero record was impressive versus the Eagles. It wasn't. Do you remember the stat that I used for that? Uh, was it a point differential? It sure was point differential. Thank you, Kevin, for remembering. So the Eagles, they are ten and two, and they have a point differential of plus forty one. The 49ers are nine and three. They have a point differential of plus one sixty three. Through thirteen games, I got you, Kevin. I'm gonna toss it right back. But through. Uh, not 13 games, 13 weeks, but 12 games. The 49ers are averaging beating their opponents by like what quick math by basically two touchdowns a game, while the Eagles, through those 10 wins, are averaging winning by like four points or so. But uh, Kaz, I, I can see that you're about to jump in, but Kevin, yeah. Kevin wanted to say something as go well. Go ahead, Kev. Go ahead. Go ahead. How many points you guys put up in the losses? Oh, great question. Let, let's take a look. And Kaz, I know you, you you want to discount the fact that the 49ers, they went on that three-game losing streak without Trent Williams, arguably the best offensive lineman of all time, without Debo Samuel. I mean, let, let's just act like it's not significant. Okay, Kevin, answer your question. 17, 17, 17. They scored 17 in three straight losses. So you said 17 three times. So that means you have three losses. And the Eagles right. have two. So oh my, we, oh we, my we, hey, you guys, it's called stats over politics. We have to stay true to the damn name. Oh hey, we are. Even wonder when it comes to what happened yesterday. Hey, brother. Like I said, you woke <laughs> up and said, God damn it, the Eagles are still right there. Just still just hanging on top of you. You just, just think the fly. You just can't get off your shoulder. It's right there dangling. We're going to beat the Cowboys. And you guys are just going to say, well, you know what, Kevin? To beat him. He's going to come in there in Philly. He's going to end up. And then we're going to have to deal with that twice. And then it's going to be, well, Kevin, the, Card the Cardinals haven't given up. There's still hope. You never know what Kyler can do. And we're going to beat them. And inevitably, we're going to have the number one seed. So the best Or you guys going to rest your starters. We'll still have the best record in the NFL because, like Sean mentioned, you guys play the Ravens. So that's four X. So we can sit back pretty and see how it comes. But. Real quickly, Kevin, before you move on to the to the next factor cap question, I just wanted to respond to uh, these comments from Khalil on, on YouTube as he says, OK, can I ask a question? And trust me, Eagles fans, you're going to like this. He says factor cap before the Eagles and 49ers played. Who was the best team in the league? And he said, I meant to say, were the Eagles the best team in the league before the 49ers and Eagles played? The answer is yes. A definitive yes. Javon, and it's, it's unanimous. All of us could agree that the Eagles were the best team going into that game. But losing by 23 points on your home field against a team that supposedly was going to win by 31 points, according to Kevin, that's embarrassing. They're, they are no longer the best team in the you NFL. Those fans that like to deflect everything. They're like, oh, it's the, it's Miami. It's the Ravens. It's, it's still us. We're still the best team. And hey, man. Deflecting well, I mean, all the best the means you have the most of something, right? And we have the most wins. So, by rule, yeah, I said you go to the best. But I'm this one – Go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kevin. I'll get to what you got to Yeah, I bet. Yeah, go I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. I'm looking right now at the last uh, 20 years of Super Bowl champions, okay? <laughs> of course. I, I'm, I, I'm, I knew, I'm, I knew uh, yeah, No, wait, 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 wait. wait. I, and I, I'm, look, I'm looking. I'm like, you know Yesterday what? Yesterday did that. We're, we're talking about this whole <laughs> – look at this point differential. You know, we do this. We do – you know what that sounds like to me? There we go. Dallas fucking Cowboys. Since Dak Prescott has been in the league with Ezekiel Elliott paired up with them, one of the best drafted running backs – Probably of all time, let's be honest. When it comes to that shit team, when it comes to that shit team, Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott 
in that Cowboys offense have been a top offense in the league. <laughs> I love this. I love it. He's, he's showing his uh, his 49ers awards and whatnot from like prehistoric times. It's all good. Forever I, ago. I get Forever. it. Forever. From 2016 when, when Dak and Zeke were drafted. Okay. Um, I've watched that Cowboys team time and time again, even in the midst of that, us winning a Super Bowl as Eagles fans, have a great, phenomenal offense. We're not going to sit here and say that Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys have just had shit team. No, no, no. Their offense has always been a problem. Always. You can look up the stats if you want to. I'm not going to talk about it right now because I know we're short on time. What I'll say is this. Here's the last 10 Super Bowl champions. Kansas City Chiefs. We all know Patrick Mahomes. With who? Travis Kels. Kadarius Tony. Jared McKinnon. Come on, come on, man. It, it doesn't, it you don't have to have these high this point differential shit is, is different. Okay. Also, let's move on. The Rams winning in, against Cincinnati. Who the fuck is Cincinnati? It's their first Super Bowl. Come on, come on, man. LA Yesterday Rams. didn't have Cooper Cooper Cup triple crown that year. Led the league in receptions, in, in touchdowns, and in yards. Okay. Before that, old Tom Brady, Tampa Bay destroyed the Kansas City Chiefs. Are we gonna sit there and say that that oh, Tampa Bay was just rolling teams. The point that no, they weren't. They weren't. Let's go even further. San Francisco versus Kansas City. Kansas City, they were that year. Yes, that was Mahomes' best year. Rolling teams. That's MVP year with Mahomes. Rolling, if I'm not mistaken, rolling teams. Keep going. New England, Los Angeles, 13 to 3. New England was out here rolling teams. It doesn't matter how good. I'm glad you guys are doing great. Against these teams, yesterday didn't happen. And one, and one of them, one of them was us. Yes, <laughs> to make that point differential, you know, blah 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 blah. That's great. It's good. Own it. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. But when it comes down to what matters the most, is that stat at the very end? Are you winning Super Bowl? Are you even getting the Super Bowls? Are you even getting yes. there? Are you getting there? Okay. When you get there, does that point differential matter? And it never does. It never does. But by, by that, by that. Viewpoint, the Dallas Cowboys in the past six years should have been there like four times. They have led the league in offense badly under Dak Prescott and, and Ezekiel Elliott, big time. With with Amari Cooper, with CeeDee Lamb, they have had a high-powered offense. It doesn't work that way, which is why I personally am not worried. I don't think you guys are the best team in the league. I don't know who is, but I can't say with my chest out, <laughs> it's the Niners. I can't say that. You, can't. you might be. But yesterday, I can't say it. Yesterday didn't happen. That's all I'm going to say. Eagles fans, as Kevin always says, Stevie Wonder could even see it. <laughs> Stevie Wonder could even see it. All right. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and rally this back in. Let me go ahead and rally this back in. So sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I, I mean, Khalil, I mean, let's just let's just uh, mention Khalil's last two comments here because I, I did I did respond to his question earlier and, and Khalil's reply was OK, then. So if you beat the best team in the league, doesn't that make you the best team? What did Ric Flair say? And I'm so glad he brought up this quote because I literally used this quote in a story that I wrote this past weekend when a college or a high school football team that I cover for work, they won a NorCal title. And I put this quote at the beginning of my story. What does Ric Flair say? To be the man, you got to beat the man. And the 49ers, they yesterday did that yesterday. didn't happen. <laughs> Nothing happened yesterday. And, and, and Kevin, one hours. last thing, Kevin, one last thing I wanted to say to Kaz in, in response to what he said is excellent points were made, especially about those frauds, those Dallas Cowboys. But the difference between the Cowboys and the 49ers is 49ers actually win in the playoffs, unlike the Dallas Cowboys, who might win a wild card game, but they don't do anything after that. So that's the difference, Kaz. Kevin, please get us back on track. I apologize for that, but uh, a lot needed to be said. All good. I'm, I'm happy we had this back and forth. And I wish Gary would have been here because he would have been able to put the title to, to a settle. And after and he could, he, and he could have been wrong again. Yeah, that's also true. He did choose the Eagles like the two. <laughs> <laughs> could have been wrong again. So this is going to be an interesting one.